It's your boy Mo for Fan Talk. Partners right here, man. They flew out. They. What's up, my guy? What's up, my boy? DMF. You know. Doing best. I'm back work. I'll come back and we. Oh yeah. Thing out there, man. So. Yeah. Boy, a piece of Dallas. Hey, the boy Jacob from Big B just pulled up with the pup. That's what that's that's how the 40 k K looks like, you heard? Look at my boy BMF man, he didn't want to talk anymore, he just sitting at her. Boy, hey, have a great fly, bro. Thank Keep you. me posted Thank and we'll go you, from there. Thank you. What's up y'all? It's your boy Mo for French Baby Bulls. About to have a busy day today, man. Supporting my boy Willy Wonka jacket, it's my new merch. Rolls Royce, he got a breeding going on. We got a Willy Wonka daughter leaving today. Check it out, guys. See that? I even did a little logo. I think it's pretty nice, you know? I like his new merch, I like doing different stuff. We got Willy Wonka daughter leaving. She's a, a five times French baby bulls. Uh, let me tell you guys something about her background real quick. Uh, I had a blue and tan, a micro 16 pound female. Uh, she was about 16, 17 pounds, very small, tiny, very good structure. I took her to my boy Flash Harry when I first bought him. Uh, that was one of my first studs, Flash Harry. I don't know if y'all remember that, but that was one of my first stud that he put me on Frenchie Mad. Basically, he took off. He was working every day for me. So what I did, I put uh, Gigi to Flash Harry, uh, create uh, lilac and tan, chocolate and tan, testable carrier. So I kept the first pick and I, uh, I kept her and I bred her to King Kong. From King Kong and her, what I got, I had got New Shade, Isabel and Tan, Fluffy Carrier. So I kept that girl, because out of three, I only had one New Shade and two of them were black and tan and chocolate and tan. So, I kept Miss Tiny and I caught on it with my boy Jacob with Baby Apes. Miss Tiny, what we did, we took it to my boy Willy Wonka. That's Willy Wonka right here, man. You, you already know what he's doing. He's stamping on each pups, man. I'm talking about you can bring in any female and he will stamp on it. Each puppies, each litters I've been getting and seen, his production been phenomenal, guys. Uh, like I say, his sauce is no joke. Willy Wonka is one of my best top working stud. I'm talking about he he's not only blessing me, but he also blessing other camps. I get I receive photos, videos from his production. People are beyond happy with his production, man. Uh, I would say one of the top best Rojo King is Willy Wonka. You know what I'm saying? But I'm gonna let y'all decide that. You know, I already know he is. In my eye, he's a top stud, but. The time will tell you know he's still got another year working doing every day so we will his production will speak for himself back to miss tiny so today i uh, my boy bmf just joined the camp and uh shout out to bmf man it's a long story behind that too he's been trying to connect with me uh it's always some will come up in the middle you know some will happen it's cool though finally he made a boss move got the miss tiny daughter Isabella champagne full fluffy you already know what we got going on man stay tuned we headed over there man let's get it got our uh, new co-partners right here, man. They flew out today. What's up, my guy? How's it going? What's your name? Uh, Max, man. Max? Max. Max. My boy Max, new member of French Baby Bulls. You know, he trusted in us. Long story. We've been trying to get in touch, but things Everything always come happened. in the middle. Yeah, yeah. We finally came in and uh, bro, bro. What's up, my boy? Good, good. BMF, you know what I'm saying? We're about to have a brunch. 
Y'all stay tuned, man. But you know how some people be. There were some Especially people, right bro, they will leave 10K deposit and they will sometimes disappear because they can't handle the rest of it. Yeah, that's wild. Bro. But again, it's their laws, my win, because yeah, I keep the deposit keep and the puppy, so yeah, yeah, gotta make way. sure. But it's all good, though. <laughs> yeah, man. So you wasn't living from Pakistan or something? Pakistan, Pakistan, Dubai, I've been traveling, you know, so. You from there? Where are you from? I'm from Pakistan, I'm born in Pakistan. Pakistan. Oh, you too? Yeah. Oh, that's what's up, man. Yeah. Uh, I didn't even know that. That's yeah, what's up. Lahore, yeah. Oh, Lahore? Yeah. Karachi, that's what's up. Oh, oh yeah? Uh, Damn, bro. I didn't even know that. Uh, so you're straight? I told him. I told him. Yeah. Oh, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah? That's what's up, man. I was born in New York. I was born in Brooklyn. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All my parents were back staying here. Nah, that's what's up. So when my homie over here, he owns this spot right here, Tosio. Yeah. They open, they started out with like one location. Now they have two. This is the second one. This is going crazy. This is like LA vibes. Yeah. They open till the three o'clock. That's yeah. it, and they out. So he was like, he wanted to start a, like new business on the yeah, side. So he got into Frenchies, and uh, he's the one who invested in Omega. So you know, I brought the play on the table, and I'm like, hey, you want to go in? Like, what's up? So he took care of the whole investment, and uh, that's that's how I've been doing it. Like, you know, you invest, I bring the play, I will do the legwork, and then you get your investment recoup. You know what I'm saying? So the first whatever we paid. It's gonna go straight to him. After that, we do 50-50. But I get to use a stud to any of my females, any of my co -homes. Now There's benefits I get. And then, then, of course, as an investor, bro, in this industry, I tell people like, bro, what's the point of investing money if you can't even recoup your investment, bro? You know what I'm saying? Like, there's so many times like, okay, I have, I have done a lot of investments, right, from beginning for past two, three years. There's some of them I, I didn't even recoup no one, not even half of my money back. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. So I came up with something that easier, that fits in. So basically with my studs, what I do, if you invest on a stud, because a stud game mainly like a daily type. Yeah. So I don't think it's right to break in 50-50 and if you haven't recouped your investment yet. Because yeah. once you recoup your investment, guess what? You kind of feel really yeah. comfortable yeah. and you're going to be ready to, you, you want to reinvest exactly. right away. You know what I'm saying? Because you already got your investment back. Whatever you're going to get, it's going to be bonus. Yeah. So simple as that. Uh, and they're going to come back and reinvest and get more puppy or whatever. It happened to me three times already. You know, uh, they started off with one pup. Now they got like five dogs through me. You get what I'm saying? It's a whole cycle. They keep making more money, they keep bringing more money on me. So it's just like, so, you know, just gotta make sure the team that you, they're happy. You know, end of the day, there's some breedings that I did, it didn't click hard, bro. Like, even though I paid 20K for a stud fee, but it just didn't, you already paid me the money. You know what I'm saying? So don't be greedy trying to get more money out of it if you already got your pay, money already up front. So people don't understand, bro, it's the, it's the greed. It fucks up everything. It's this business is just like any other business, yeah. you know. But you just people just kind of like take it the wrong way, and it's the, like the money is, coming in exactly, yeah. bro. Like if you just do it the right way, bro, it's so easy, simple. I tell them like some all these co partners around me, they're happy. Yeah. The people who are not happy, they're jealous. They, they got the whole different shit going on. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. Don't don't compare with me. You know what I'm saying? I started this six years ago. I'm already ahead. I'm on. I'm producing five times French baby bulls now. You know the production is different now. So I already been through that lanky shit. You know we all go through that. And I already been through that. Now whatever I'm producing, they're not gonna be no more than 19, 20 pounds with the DNA included. That's why I wanted to show him. So yeah. Sure. Yeah. He, he has yet to see really good dogs. Oh, you haven't seen it? No. All right. That's why. He's learning. No, 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 I'm gonna show it to you. I got, I got Rolls Royce breeding right now. I got Willy Wonka breeding today. So you came at the right, perfect time. So you're gonna meet more people too. I have. You guys have time? Yeah. Okay. All right. Cool. So I'll show you all the breedings going on today. Uh, and then also I'll show you Omega too. I did his first pull yesterday. Uh, he's tiny, bro. He's tiny for his DNA. He's very tiny. Uh, 
But yeah, man, we got some good fire dogs. It's just, you got to know. Like good, little freaky shit you want to cheat code and shit like that. <laughs> <laughs> you want to see how small the end goal is. Yeah, I got you. Know yeah, yeah, yeah. You know nah, I got you. That cheat code is freaky. If you really want freaky shit, like, I keep him exclusive for a reason because his bloodline is crazy, bro. He's a, he's a lot like quad platinum. But he come from a tank bloodline, the behind it. So his, his stuff is seven thousand dollars. I don't really push him because I got I'm doing something else with him, you know. So I don't really promote yeah, him like that. Man. Yeah, I'm doing something in house, you know. So I don't really care for it. I paid forty thousand dollars for him. Of course, I need to make my money back, but I I did it for a reason. It's like that money haven't came back to me, but I'm I'm a, yeah I'm doing a whole different yeah yeah yeah. It'll come back. But it's not yet, you know? It's in, it's in pending. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Because I'm trying to target a whole different crowd, bro. I want people to bring their puppy in to be able to sell that shit yeah. at the show. Yeah. So I want to kind of top of do some like an auction type but of shit. But this is what he kind of play because he owns a nightclub and a restaurant. Mm -hmm. So I would use his platform to like basically do the same thing with artists come to his venue. Oh, that's what's up. Yeah. yeah, no. you that yeah. As a, as a way Man, I tell people, bro, yeah. Frenchie is like, yeah, it's, it's nice and everything, but what do you... It comes with a lot with it, you know what I'm saying? Like the people you meet in this industry, mm -hmm. yeah. it's like a circle going on. It's like yeah, it's the business, exactly, bro. Yeah. As long like as you do a good business, you need everybody gonna know who yeah. you are. Yeah, no, for sure. I've been having a lot of people coming from OKC. They're moving from Cali to OKC, yeah. and every time I ask, "What do you do?" Same answer. Yeah, same answer, man. I'm like, yeah, I, I already know. Hey, he's from Lahore, bro. Oh, for real? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he just told me he's like he's from Pakistan. He's like, yeah, Lahore. Where are you from? Houston or what? No, I'm from New York. You know, from New York? Yeah, he just they just come over here visiting. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Hey, order? Yeah, we about to order. Yeah. Nah, that's what's up, man. You gotta do. You gotta do it just to build relationship, man. Your platform, different, different breeders bring different, you know. And then even that just shows you know if we able to do business with multiple people. Yeah, 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 for sure. Nah, yeah, yeah. yeah. To, and to be honest, to get your name out there too, bro. This is the way to do it, bro. I did the same shit, like you know what I'm saying. I, I spend big, big money with out there and brought things in over here. You got to. Because the people going to take you serious, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. They're going to be like, all right, these, these folks not really playing around. Yeah, They're real yeah, deal, you know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Because there's a lot of jokers out there just waste yeah, your time, <laughs> you know? But again, you just got to go through those 50 messages. Out of those 50, you're going to find two or three, you know what I'm saying? So it's work. But again, you know, that's part of it. You can't really complain. You can still see it. A gold 10 points she's she's gorgeous bro once you see her uh, so that's my fifth generation right there you know I started off with uh, a blue and tan girl 16 pounds I took her to flesh Harry flesh Harry was one of my main stud that I bought from UK and uh, he took off bro he was that's the, the first nice has. who nice. yeah I call on it with him oh. so so basically I, I bought him but I made I'm talking about at least a half a million with that investment. I bought him for 80K. I he used to work every day for him. Every day I'm pulling him some days. And his stuff fee was seven thousand dollars at the time. And uh I only I only like in tan. With that structure, with carrying testable, it was a big thing yeah, at that time. Yeah, yeah, for real. Yeah, yeah. So I put yeah, I put him to that female that the blue and tan, regular blue and tan, bro. No, no DNA, none of that. I kept the first pick, chocolate and tan from his litter and uh, Gigi lines. First pick, I kept her. She was a uh, chocolate and tan carrying testable. Then I took her to bring the fluffy jeans. I took her to King Kong. Uh, King Kong, I kept the first pick, which was uh, Isabella and tan. Her name is Miss Tiny. I co-owned it with my co-partner named Jacob, and then uh, and then I took Miss Tiny to Willy Wonka. That's my fifth generation. I'm talking about bro. Those. So remember that from Gigi Lines Blue and Tan, she was my first pick. Her her daughter was my first pick. I kept, and then the uh, King Kong and them together. That was my first pick, Miss Tiny. I co-owned. So 
all my first pick that I had capped and I caught with it. You can't let go of your first pick, bro. Your first pick is like you, you're basically your all your work going away. Even they will pay. Even if you would have offered me 50, 60 k, I wouldn't take it, bro. Because it's first pick is I would not let it go if it's not cold. If not, then I'll, I'll just keep her. Especially from her lines, bro. That's literally I work my ass off. It's years behind that shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's why this girl, this whole litter matters a lot to me. You know what I'm saying? Uh, my co-partner, the one who she he he really did took care of the Miss Tiny. She took care of very good, and he developed the litter good. You know, uh, of course I make the plays and everything, but you also gotta put some work into it too. You know, uh, if you can do it, you know he wanted to do it himself. It was the first time, but if you can do it, then there's people ready to walk litters. You know? I can guarantee you that, bro. You ain't gonna deal with no lanky stage. You ain't gonna deal with no skinny, this, none of that. Guaranteed. Both the girls that I sold, even the first and the second, both of them, bro, gonna be crazy. I kept one of them. She was a pied, full pied. Uh, I know a lot. Huh? He don't know what that looks like. Oh, he don't know what it looks like? Yeah. Uh, lots of people don't value pied, full pied a lot, but to me, I know what she can do. I know how to put. Two together. two together so yeah. basically if I put her to non pied I'm gonna get all they get so into it and just yeah, following yeah, people yeah. no yeah. pied no brindle they forget how to what, what if it's a what if you get a quality pied girl what do you what the fuck you just gonna get, not buy her just yeah. because she's pied but what if she carry all the DNA yeah, you need yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying so I was like I'm not even gonna try with her cuz I'm not gonna get what without masking so I'm gonna just keep her yeah. Two copies of pie, that's why. But you know, they don't know how to use it though. Yeah, they just don't know what to do. Look at this one. <laughs> oh, this one's going down. Oh, yeah. My cheese. Oh, you wanted to add cheese? Yeah, I wanted cheese. Hey, you want to trade it? Uh, you know what? Can you make another one like that with cheese? With, with cheese? Yeah. My boy BMF was just talking to me about dieting, and now you want to add cheese. <laughs> they fucked the dieting, man. We got to eat. Yeah, yeah. No, he's going to bring you another one. Yeah, yeah. They, uh, they actually partner with Isaac and Justin too. They bought like three, four dogs. So they already cloned three, four dogs that were there with them. Uh, they buying a new shade, the one uh, from Miss Tiny. He just had a litter, two pups died. So he's been... Kinda in that little. Yeah, no, but still, man, I like yeah. shit like that. Uh huh. Man, we just keep looking forward. You know, like, bro, just. You know, you know, you know, you know, you know, yeah, but you know what, bro? My first litter, I had seven pups. They all died. What? First litter, I had took deposits, everything, and that was like. It was almost 60k for a whole litter, you know, and I had sold it. And bro, that shit hurt me so bad. Like hurt as in like. I was really excited, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, and yeah, you know what I'm saying? And that shit just kind of like... But you know, you learn that way though. You know, you learn and you keep it going. And now I don't... That shit... I can have a puppy dying because I've been through so much, bro. It don't affect me anymore. You know? It's crazy though, but like... He kept going though. A lot of people, you know, they're like... It's scary. Yeah, yeah. He kept going. That's... And look, my second litter out of three pups, two died and one survived. So, yeah, you just can't, you just can't stop, bro. I was already in it too deep. You know, I had already spent 200k when I started. You know, I didn't, I didn't come out like with change. And then that I converted into, you know, of course your first and second didn't work out, but your third one, it took off. You feel me? So it, it kind of recoup everything, whatever. 
I missed and you know because there's whelping fees there's c-section there's stud feed you know it's so much it's not just buying the dog right so that's why what are you doing right now your stud fees are already included if that makes sense you know what I'm saying uh, it's a lot to it man you know I get you guys doing the way it should be done and that's what people should be doing you know what I'm saying you guys really skipping the lines and the years you know what I'm saying and uh, that matters a lot in any business yeah even if I, you know what I'm saying? I, I humble myself and be a soldier until Exactly, bro, yeah. That's the only way up, bro. You gotta have a good, solid team. And you work as a team. And uh, I always, even though I have, I have cell phone locations too. I have about six cell phone locations, you know. I had never. Fixed phones and stuff? Yeah, fixed phones. T so T so T Mobile. I have two T Mobile locations. I have a cell phone repair with CPR. Okay. CPR is uh, basically cell phone repair. They have about almost close to 300, 400 locations. So we, it's a franchise. You can't just go in there and buy it. Basically, if basically if I'm in Houston, they give you a zip code. So that zip code will be covered. Like if I buy that zip code, it's, it's under my zip code. So nobody else come and that zip code and take over. Exactly, that's why. So basically, you, they, they're connecting with uh -huh. T-Mobile is partnering with them as well uh, on the insurance base. That, let's say your phone's screen crack or anything, T-Mobile will direct you to CPR. And we get money from back end, you know, it's straight from insurance company. That's awesome. Yeah. So, you know, but when I started dogs, like, I, I never depended on my dog money, you know. I tell people, like, I have one or two clones and they had lost their job and they started depending on dog money because the dog money was, I'm like, bro, like, it's cool. <laughs> Not too many yet, but they started, they were like one of the fifth location, sixth location when they first got it. Now they have almost up to 40, 50 locations. It's going crazy, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Open, it's packed. You're not paying extra money, yeah. Huh? Who's coming through in the morning? One's club people. Oh, the club people? Yeah. They come, they get, they eat like on two, two, three. Hell yeah. Yeah. Cause they're up at night. Yeah, New York. Four, five. I'm going to it up. out today from New Jersey. My boy's doing big thing out there, man. It's only right, you know. We're about to lock in. We're here. We're going to make things happen. Knocking walls down. It's over. Yep, you already know, my boy. I appreciate everything, man. Let's go inside and check it out. We do all the breedings. Uh, to be honest, I'm here all day, man. <laughs> yeah, come on in. This is the spot, you know what I'm saying? We do a PG testing here. Got a TCI, yeah. we watch, we watch the NBA games, the NFL, anything. We go barbecue out there. We just, just chilling, man. That's the spot, you know. Yeah, it's a vibe for sure. Good, good. Doesn't matter. I can see, man. I'm probably gonna um, lock in, Willie. Oh yeah. Yeah. Yeah, now he he about to come over, anyways. Yeah. Guys, this is just the balance. They already paid the deposit, wire, all that shit been done. My boy came to Dallas last week and thinking there would be a bank to do the wire transfer, but then he had to go back and, you know, we had to set up a whole new date and come back this week and they brought the balance 10K. They paid the remaining 30, what, 35? That's how we do it, man. French baby bulls way. Oh, blues, man. You know, 20s. Oh, yeah. 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 No, yeah. for sure. I just, I'm, I just go to learn. Man, to be honest, bro, that's how we all started, you know what I'm saying? Like, we all been there and done that, you know? A lot of mistakes and shit, and then you fix it and then come up, you know? And you make a better play. And that's how you learn, you move on. But some people just, just can't do it, you know? Cause it's not hard, it's, it's not easy for them to just drop another bag and start new, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, some people just gave up, yes, for sure. I agree, 
Yep. Line up. Let me show you really. Come on. Come here, boy. He's, he thinks he's ready to work. Yeah. yeah, that's why he's going straight in. <laughs> Come here, boy. Come here, boy. Come here, boy. <laughs> That's what he does, bro. Look at his color, how he colored beyond in the sun. You see that? It's like a red rojo, for real. You see that? And then 10 points. Bro, he is a motherfucker. Yeah. Man, I saw I tell people, man, it's more to it. It's, you know, the Frenchies is there, it's cool. Uh, but, you know, building a relationship, that's what matters the most, you know? Uh, there's a lot more people out there producing new shade, fluffies, you know, all of that. But, you know, this is a five-time French baby bull production, man. Micro, new shade, full fluffy. We're going to take her to Omega, Big World, Rojo and Tan, Fluffy Carrier. We already know what to do. We know how to put two together. That's what matters the most, you know. And my guy, Ben, trying to holler at me. We've been trying to work together, but some always come in the middle, came in the middle, but you know what? Not this time. None of that matter. We out here, made a deal happen. New member, BMF. What's your canon name again? BMF Exotics. BMF Exotics. From New Jersey, making big boss moves, and that's the only way to do it, man. So tell me, uh, like, you know, there's, there's a lot more breeders there's a lot of top breeders too what made you you know wanted to join with french baby bulls team like you know it has to be that genuinely i studied you for two years mm -hmm. i got great feedback from you i asked most school people a lot of people about you yeah I always got good responses and uh, the production speaks for itself yeah they conduct business yeah no for sure in fact that's what it's about, man. I've been telling everyone, bro. This is about to go down, man. This is going to be a six-time French Baby Bulls with BMF joining the team. Y'all stay tuned, man. Stay tuned. Boy, Jacob from Baby Ape just pulled up with the pup. My boy's got to head to the airport within 30 minutes. Trying to catch the next flight. Oh yeah, my boy. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. You already know, man. Yeah, it's going was, down, baby. East Coast about to come and just play. West New Coast Jersey Valley. came through. Yes, sir. They didn't play, play no West game. West. They didn't waste no time. They came and dropped the bag. 40k play. French baby bulls, way man. BMF yeah. Frenchies, French baby bulls. We just merging. It's about to go down, baby. Yeah, uh huh. This is just the beginning, man. Just warming up over here. It's more to come. My boy, baby, have exotic here. Boy, Jacob. Woo! Yeah. <laughs> Y'all see this? Look at this baby girl. Them orange tan points, blue color crystal eyes. Look at her pink nose. This girl is gorgeous, y'all. Check it out, man. Look at this girl. Woo! That's how the 40k play looks like. You heard? Fifth generation French baby bulls. Yeah, it's a whole different exotic animal right there you're down. holding. That's three months on. <laughs> that's, that's, that is that's the secret sauce in it. <laughs> oh man. Look just like a daddy too. My boy Jacob be like, man, there's too many lanky, long, sticky looking puppies out like, there. Yes, I needed to come in and get on the get on the uh, train to make them a shorty compact. <laughs> <laughs> oh fool. Uh, yeah, look at my boy BMF man. He didn't even want to talk anymore. He's just staring at her. <laughs> He's just so into it. What do you think about her, man? Yeah? She worth it, man. Oh, yeah. We already know she's going to a great home all the way into New Jersey. Uh, that's how we do it, man. Appreciate you, my boy. Appreciate you for trusting, man. We're going to keep in touch.
Yeah, I appreciate you bringing that to us. Most definitely, brother. Yeah. It was a long day today, man. BMF came to New Jersey, part of French Baby Bulls team now. You know, y'all make sure, subscribe to my YouTube channel, like, share, all of that, man. Let's fucking go.